We've since learned the owner of Positively Paradise, Nikki Kemmerlango, used to work here at Martin Downs Animal Hospital in Palm City. The hospital telling us that was over five years ago and that she worked here for a very brief period of time, unable to tell us why she's no longer with the hospital. The news comes as yet another family came forward to us, telling us their dog died in her care too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. Tiffany and Mike Owen. Yeah, she should not be in business. Sit on their Palm City porch and like so many others we've talked to are furious. Kind of makes me angry. Yeah. The couple is now one of five we've reported on who say their dogs died in the care of Nikki Camerlango, who owns dog training facility Positively Paradise in Palm City. Our investigation began in November of 2022, with the most recent dog dying just this week. The sheriff's office says after just four hours in Camerlango's care. How is she continuing? Mike and Tiffany say in 2014 they left their puppy Gibbs with Camerlango for a week of training while they went on vacation. The day they came back. We got a text from her that our dog had passed away. We were just in shock. You know, it's just we left her with a healthy dog, a puppy, and we came back and there was no reason why that dog should have passed away. Cameron Lingo's explanation. She kind of said, well, it could have been a, a snake bite. And they had no reason to question that until they saw others come forward sharing similar stories. I mean, I feel bad. I felt bad for her at first because maybe this is just a horrible coincidence, but no, I don't think that's possible. The Owens didn't order a necropsy and don't have the vet records anymore, so we may never know exactly what happened. They didn't file a police report at the time, but said they will now. We also reached out to Camerlango to address the new accusations, but she hasn't returned my calls. We're but Martin County Sheriff's Office Chief Deputy job. John Budenseek says he doesn't believe it's a coincidence. Yeah. No, not at all. I think something is nefarious that's taking place there. I have two pets, two dogs. And I can't imagine dropping them off perfectly healthy and then getting a call that something bad happened to In 2022, when the sheriff's office launched their first investigation into Positively Paradise, Camerlango was cited eight times for improper care of animals. Multiple neighbors in the area told me they saw Camerlango attaching dogs to a golf cart with leashes and running them around the block, which we asked her about in February. We very safely have them on leash running at a pace they pick. We are not dragging them. We're not forcing them to run. We're not taking the old fat dog. We're taking the dogs that need the extra energy out. The sheriff's office already sent off this last dog's body to the University of Florida for a necropsy and are planning to send the dog that died in February off too. That dog has been in the care, has been in the possession of a veterinarian's office down at Palm Beach. The ASPCA stepped in, they funded the necropsy. But what happens if those necropsies come back inconclusive? Last month, we found the county can pursue an injunction against Camerlango to prevent her from possessing animals. We're exploring all options. The main option right now is education, education. We're telling the public there's an issue here. The Owens just hope those options make a difference. I hope she stops working with animals. I mean, I don't wish her. I don't know. I don't. I hope nobody takes their dog to her ever again and that she's out of business. In Martin County, Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5.